Hi, I'm Phil from Pico Kids. Today we're going to be looking at the new Pico Dice uh, enclosure so you can make your Pico Dice look flash. Um, so this is laser cut out of acrylic and you'll see that the pieces hold together. That's how you'll get it. And uh, they pop out nice and easily. Um, and uh, we'll have some instructions uh, written up for you soon on how to assemble it. But um, I've got one, I've already put one together, but I pulled it apart. So it's a bit of a jigsaw puzzle. How do we put the Pico Dice enclosure back together? And uh, you can see that uh, I've got a few pieces here and there, and how um, what we're looking at at the moment, <laughs> you might find that you get some little bits of plastic that pop out of the uh, lettering when you open it all up. But uh, you don't need those little bits. But do make sure you have keep a hold of these bits, importantly. Okay, so um, let's get started. Now you'll notice that some of these are already glued on. You'll see I've got my batteries there. Don't really need the batteries in there at the moment. And I've got this blue, sorry, this blue piece of plastic stuck on the end. And uh, you'll see that um, when you when you first make this you won't necessarily have it like that, will you? So uh, you want to make sure that it's aligned correctly. So don't glue it on when it's like that. Same with this piece. Uh, it might look like it's um, lined up pretty well, but there is about a one mil gap at the end here. So in another video, I'll show you how to line that up correctly to glue that one in place as well. But uh, just to give you an idea of how the Pico Dice enclosure works, um, now it's just a standard Pico dice and uh, I can turn that on and you can see it's already programmed to work when I press the button and, uh, and so it comes up with a random number in a nice blue colour. Now um, the, when I designed this, I designed it so we wouldn't be using this switch anymore. There's another switch that will lock onto this one so that's quite important and we won't be pressing this switch on the circuit board directly. There's another part that uh, toggles that switch as well. So um, so let's get to it. Now the first thing, uh, every piece of plastic is, uh, when it's cut, has a slight chamfer around the outside. And so uh, these pieces are made to fit so that um, when you stick them together, um, they they will fit better that way, one way in particular, having the larger section on the outside and the smaller section on the inside. Um, it's just the way laser cutting works. If you try to put it this way, like this, it's going to be an issue because that's going to be quite difficult to snap in there. Um, and so you have to make sure. So how do we do that? How do we make sure? Well. Um, you should see that one surface is a very clean cut and the other one might be might have like some little um, smudge marks on it and actually the side that's clean cut might also have some black marks on it so um, so the black marks is burning because as it cuts you get a bit of fire underneath every now and then but that they should just wipe off um, or get something to clean those off. You can see there's a little bit of a black mark up there at the moment. Okay, so, uh, so we need to know which side is the underneath side, and we also need to know that the switch is going near uh, this little horizontal. You'll see one end has a vertical edge, one has a horizontal, sorry, slot, and so the switch goes near the horizontal slot. So that's the first thing. So that just sits on there like that, pokes through by a couple of millimetres. Don't push it on because it's not meant to go in. Um, the holes are made smaller than the LEDs. So, uh, so what we want to do at this stage is, with that in place, we also want to put in our other parts. So first of all, this little bit here is our new switch, and that slides underneath there. and. Okay, so, uh, so you can see just with that pointy edge, that port pokes in above the switch, pokes in there, and that little roundish section goes up through the slot and pokes out the top, just there. 
So uh, that's how that bit goes. And then beside it, we put these two short bits. So uh, they're not symmetrical, okay? There's uh, a long section that goes towards the center and you should see that it lines up nicely on the edge. If it's around the wrong way, you'll see it's, it overhangs by a couple of millimeters. Okay, so that should be resting in there nicely. And that one should be resting in there on the other side. So we have that. And these are spaces so that it sits down on the battery box correctly. So now we've got that in place, we can turn that around. Um, we can do this other edge. Now uh, this part that goes on this end um, has to go around that wire. If you can see that little notching goes around that wire. Um, and what we want to do is cram as much of that wire in there as possible. So I'm going to just consider which way this is going on. It will go on that way and the switch will be on this end. So oh, there goes the battery. Okay, so I want it to go down here. I'm going to poke that wire under there a little bit, under that edge, and I just want it basically to sit in there. So I'll get that piece over the wire, clip that in place. There we have it. Okay, so that's clipped in place. Now uh, we do need to put this switch in. This is the switch part, and this sharp sort of jagged edge uh, goes through the slot in the top so we put that down make sure it gets out of the that wire gets out of the way wire should sit down underneath there okay and now that we've got that i'm just going to turn it back on although one of the batteries is out i'm going to slide that switch up that way and that little switch here on the battery box I'm pointing to that little switch goes in that little groove on there so I can just slot that in and there it goes and then I can push those together and that should hold all of those other bits in place now with the battery in I can at this current stage test those things so I should be able to turn the lights on and off now from that switch and I should be able to press down on that button to make it work. So there you go. Okay, so um, now that's not gonna hold itself together until we get these sides in. You do have to make sure that you don't get the text the wrong way. They are different to each other. And um, so we can just clip that one in place. As such, push down, we'll just hear those sort of snapping in like so and we can do it that way as well all those little clicks to lock it in and once that one's done then we can go and do the other side as well now mine one side's a little bit tighter than the other i'm not exactly sure what's happened there because the measurements are all the same but uh, just the slightest bit of difference but we can still push all of those and they lock in pretty tightly. Okay. So that's pretty much it. So Pico dice in a box and this part here is the battery enclosure. So if you've bought one of these pre-made and it just happened to fall apart, then that's how you put it back together. Let's just have a look. Before that goes in, you'll notice that wire's sticking out a little bit. I can just feed some more of that back in to there so that it sits in place. And there we go, it shuts nicely. And there is the Pico Dice. So Pico Dice from Pico Kit. And we can press the button and see a nice LED display.